Hi guys, hope you are all doing well. We are going to show you amazing glowing intro logo animation. Let's start by creating a new composition and, rename it to, your logo. Make sure to select the 1080p resolution, and duration of 7 seconds. Then, click OK. Drag and drop, your logo into the timeline, and also you can type, your text here. Now, press S to adjust the scale. Create a new composition. And rename it color. Drag and drop your logo comp layer to the timeline. Go to effects and presets, apply a 4 color gradient, to the layer. Modify, the color to your liking. and change, the blend value to, 5. At 3 and a half seconds, adjust the position of the points, as demonstrated, and also activate the points watch icon. Now, drag the indicator to, 0 seconds, and adjust the point position, as you like. Then, drag the indicator to, 7 seconds, and once again modify, the point position according to, your preference. Then, create a new solid layer, and rename it Fractal. Click OK. Next, navigate to Effects and Presets and search for Fractal Noise. Apply, the effect to the layer. Change, the Fractal type to Rocky and, set the contrast to 300. Drag the indicator to, the beginning 0 seconds and decrease the brightness value, until the preview appears completely, black. And click on watch icon, press U to reveal the layer properties, then drag the indicator to 1.5 seconds, and increase the brightness, until the preview appears, completely white. Select these points, and press F9 to easy east. Create the graph like me. Then, drag the indicator to, 6 seconds, and click on this point. Drag the indicator to, 7 seconds, and decrease, the brightness again. Click on the logo layer, and change the mode to Luma Matte. Go to project window, and create a new comp, rename it Glow. Create a new solid and rename it MAT1. Apply Fractal Noise and change the noise type to Spline. Contrast, 200, Brightness, 40. Transform Scale, 150. Complexity, 1. Evolution Random Seed, 3000. Now, drag the indicator to, 0 seconds, and turn on the Evolution, Watch Icon. Next, drag the indicator to, 7 seconds, and set the evolution, value to 2. Duplicate the matte layer, and rename it matte 2. Adjust the contrast value, to 300, brightness to minus 60, and transform scale to 200. Duplicate the matte 2 layer, and adjust the brightness value, to 20 with a random seed of 2800. Then, duplicate the matte layer again, and increase the contrast to 120, with a random seed of 2500. Next, navigate to the project window, and drag the color composition, into the timeline. Finally, turn off the eye icon, for all matte layers. Now go to Effects and Presets, type Camera Lens Blur, and apply it to the Color Comp layer. Change the Blur Radius to 15, Diffraction Fringe to 0, 
and blur map layer 2, matte 2. Change the source to, effects and masks, and click on repeat edge pixels. Next, apply the set matte effect. Change the matte layer to, matte 1. Source to effects and masks, and alpha channel to, luminance. Go to effects and presets. Apply the turbulent displace effect, with an amount of 25, and size of 50. Set the indicator to 0 seconds, and turn on the evolution, watch icon. Move the indicator to, 7 seconds, and change the value to 1. Change the random seed to 250. Go to effects and presets. And apply the glow effect, to the layer. Duplicate the color layer with Ctrl plus D, delete the camera lens blur, and set the matte layer to matte 3. Also, remove the glow effects. Go to effects and presets, and apply the fast box blur. Blur radius 20, and iterations to 10. Change the mode to, screen. Next, duplicate the color layer again and set the matte layer to matte 4. Adjust the blur radius to 8, and iterations to 1. Go to effects and presets. Apply the directional blur, and blur length value to 250. Finally, change the mode to add. Now, go to the project window, and create a new composition. Rename it as floor, and click OK. Next, Create a new solid layer, and rename it as Fractal. Then, go to Effects and Presets. Apply the Fractal Noise effect. Change the Transform Scale width to 200. After that, click on the 3D box. Rotate it. And drag it downwards. Now, go to Effects and Presets. Apply the Motion Tile effect, on the layer. Increase the output height, and then click on Mirror Edges. Go to the Project window, and create a new composition. Rename it to Main. Click OK. Drag and drop the Glow Comp layer, into the timeline. Press Ctrl plus D, to duplicate the layer. Next, adjust the height scale to minus 20. Then press P to adjust the position. Go to Effects and Presets, and apply the Fast Box Blur, and the Blur Radius value to 40. Now, go to the Project window, and drag and drop the Floor Composition, into the Timeline. After that, turn off the eye icon. Next, create a new Adjustment Layer, and drag it between, the Glow Composition layers. Then, go to Effects and Presets. Apply the Compound Blur effect. Change the blur layer to floor, and set the maximum blur value to 50. Now, click on the glow composition layer, and press T, to adjust the opacity value to 40. Finally, create a null layer, and link both glow layers, to the null. Click and press S, to adjust the scale. Then, click on watch icon, Go to the project window, create a final composition, and rename it Render. Then, create a new solid layer, and rename it BG. You can change the color, if desired. Drag and drop the main composition, into the timeline. Create a new adjustment layer, and rename it Sharpen. Go to Effects and Presets. Apply the Sharpen effect. And adjust the amount to 20. Let's check out our project. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.